Uh-oh, we're gonna need to go to the vet for this one. All right, what's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to fix one of my dog's broken nails. Um, I noticed it recently because he's been licking at it. So I went and got the first aid kit. I'm going to get some supplies ready right now. But in the process, I'm going to cut the rest of his nails that are long. It is actually kind of my fault. We've been exercising, and uh, I didn't realize that his nails were super long. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start Down. treating the nail. So the supplies that I'm using right now are some Neosporin antibiotic ointment. I got some gauze and I got some masking tape and uh, I'm gonna be using some super glue as well. So right now I'm putting them in a position where it's more comfortable for him and for me so I could treat the area. Um, first thing you wanna do is you wanna stop any bleeding if your dog is bleeding through their nails or you know they nicked it really bad and you might wanna use some septic powder so you can stop that. That could really help stop the bleeding. So right now I'm observing the area he just has a cracked nail. It's nothing really major. It's not to the root of the nail, but I do want to prevent infections. So, um, but I cleaned it off before the video with some uh, water and some like salt solution. I didn't use rubbing alcohol. That's not ideal. But now I'm gonna super glue the nail back together because um, it's not loosely attached. Like it's not about ready to fall off. It's firm on there. So I'm gonna just you know super glue it back together. In case you didn't know, super glue back in the days, the first uses of it was for actual cuts and wounds. So, um, yeah, I'm going to super glue it and then I'm going to gauze it up and put some masking tape over it so, you know, it could grow out and I could eventually cut it. I want it to grow properly, though, so that's why I'm using the super glue. And um, we went to a nail or we went to the vet for a nail before, and this is exactly what they've done. They All they did was super glue it together and then they're going to eventually cut it off. The, the trick here is to make sure that your uh, dog's nail doesn't get infected. So you definitely want to clean it before you start doing this. And in the meantime, I'm just going to start cutting his nail. So Now, I know a lot of owners have a hard time, you know, cutting their dog's nails because they're too crazy. They don't let them touch their paws or anything. That's why in one of my previous videos, I tell you, you know, you need to touch your dog all around you know, when they're puppies, I'm talking like grab their paws, observe them, you know, um, clean them off, grab their tail, grab them anywhere where they're uncomfortable so they could get used to that. So when you're having situations like this, when you're trying to clean their nails or their paws or cut their nails, it's not that bad. Now, obviously, you seem like, what the hell, man? It's because I'm cleaning the dirt under his nails and uh, it's definitely still uncomfortable for him. You know, we're not perfect by any means. So uh, I'm trying to come for him right now, trying to tell him it's all right, you know, let me just cut your nails and we're going to make it as quick as possible. But I'm trying to clean out the dirt as well. He's pulling back. He's trying to wag his tail like. I don't want to do this, man. You know what I mean? And now I'm just making sure he stays. Making sure he's comfortable. Grab the nail clippers and back at it. And it's very vital to make sure you don't hit one of the blood vessels inside their nails because that could ruin the whole experience for them. And that's not what you want to do. So again, I'm just cutting his nails. And what I mean by the blood vessels, if you could look at your dog's nails and you can see that there's a pink area inside the nails, you do not want to cut off any of that because that would ruin it for them. And as you can see, he's still uncomfortable even though I'm only cutting the nails. I don't get anywhere close to the little blood vessels inside. And the more you do it, the more you're going to be professional at it. You're going to, 
you know, start building that relationship with them and they're going to get a little bit more comfortable. It's never perfect. Now, we'll link all of these products that I'm using in the description so you can go check them out, such as the nail clippers, the first aid kit that I use. And uh, I think it's very important to have this if you're a dog owner, you know, just in case there's an emergency where your dog is bleeding and uh, you need to, you know, use a first aid kit on them. So right now we're just cutting the nails. You see sudden jumps when I'm cutting his nails, but it's because, you know, I, f I still feel like it's uncomfortable for them when you just cut the nails alone, you know, without hitting the blood vessel. You're cutting through a big chunk of their nail. So when they feel that come off, they're not really familiar with it. And they're just like, what the hell? You know what I mean? So Bo's doing a really good job after this. Um... I actually, you know, fed him a good, nice little meal for doing such a good job. But it's very important you want to do this because you want to prevent injury. You know, injuries such as a broken nail could lead to infections. And um, you definitely do not want that. So I'm checking out the back paws right now. I'm noticing that they're very close to the blood vessels. So some of them I end up not cutting because I didn't feel comfortable enough to, you know, take off like... A very small portion of the nail without nicking the blood vessel so just something to keep in mind if you feel like it's too close don't even cut it you know we were really focused on the long nails so I'm taking a look at his broken nail right now and I'm seeing if it's starting to dry up with the super glue on it putting a little bit more super glue that one bothers him a little bit you can see he's taking his paw away he dropped my camera not the camera how to fix it okay back at it we're gonna super glue the nail a little bit more he's doing a good job he's not freaking out running away you know these dogs are strong you know it doesn't look like it on the video but man these dogs can really just flip their whole body and run away without any thought <laughs> it's kind of funny how you know they could just do that I see owners struggle with it and it's crazy so I'm applying a little bit more super glue, making sure that it's, you know, Wait. drying up nice and well. Wait. Now it's time to um, put some of that Neosporin on the antibiotic underneath the nail. So uh, it doesn't, you know, become infected. The reason for the gauze is so, uh, you know, my dog goes outside, uses the bathroom. There's a lot of dirt back there. We don't want no infections. So uh, we're going to wrap it up and make sure he doesn't have any. It's like an open wound. You got to treat it like an open wound. You're not going to have, you know, a cut on your foot and just walk barefoot outside. Same process, same, same way of thinking here. So I'm giving it the best possible way to um, put it around the nail. And now I have some masking tape. When you uh, tape your dog's paws, you don't want to put it in the wrist area, which is like that back pad of their paw. You make sure that it's not on that so they still have flexible motion. So as you can see, I'm just wrapping it around and uh, make sure, making sure it's nice and secured. So it's real simple. Wait, whoa, well, wait. So this is what uh, it looks like. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable for him, but I'm gonna put the cone of shame on him. And um, so that's so he doesn't, you know, chew at this tape. But I want you to take a look at his nails. So um, you see how I didn't cut where the pink is at? I cut just before that one's kind of a little too short but like you see where the pink ends 
I made sure not to even get close to it. You know what I mean? So if you kind of nip that, then it ruins it for them. And there it is. The wound is finally fixed. And we're probably going to go to the vet tomorrow. But for right now, we're going to put the cone of shame on him. So uh, he doesn't mess with the wound. And we'll check it out tomorrow. And hopefully it's all better.